Relentless Layman Brewster is a retired American professional heavyweight boxer, former WBO heavyweight champion, and entrepreneur. Real Scene TV sits down with him to talk cigars, boxing, and his career. From Indianapolis, Indiana, USA, the challenger, former WBO heavyweight world champion, relentless Layman Brewster! You've literally knocked out somebody on every continent. Every continent. But it all started here in Indianapolis. Oh yeah, Indiana Golden Gloves. Uh, Christian Moore House, grew up in Hallville um, under the tutelage of uh, Bill Honeyboy Brown. You're also into cigars. Yes, I have a, a small cigar company called Champion Cigars with four other world heavyweight champions. It's uh, Riddick Bowe, James Tony, Ray Mercer, and Chris Bird, and uh, the name of the cigar company is called Champion Cigars. Champion Cigars. So since yes. you've decided, well, I guess retired from professional yep. boxing, now you're an entrepreneur. Yes. Doing the cigar company. Mm -hmm. You're also involved with another local organization here, mm -hmm. Helping Hands for Freedom. Yes. My man David Rock, you know, he came to me, said, I'm going to walk across America. Which is crazy, but I awesome. Said, I said, you're going to do what? <laughs> he said, I'm going to walk across America. He said, you got to help me get in shape. I said, hmm, let's see what you got. So I got him on the mitts and he got to working. And I said, okay, I see the dog in you. So now I'm just working to help him pull it out 100%. Well, you know, we're going to do it for charity. Well, he's going to do right. it for charity. You're volunteering your time. Yeah, absolutely. You are volu he is volunteering absolutely. your time. 100% volunteer. Mm -hmm. And you're working for 16 months with him, helping him train. Oh, yeah. He stuck with me. You said famously, perhaps, that if David Roth could go rounds with you in the boxing ring, that then he could walk across the country easily. I'm the type of person, they call me relentless, Lehman. And Brewster, yes, meaning they do. when I set my mind to something, I'm going to accomplish it, and I'm just hoping that my spirit rubs off on him. What drives you to want to help um, the Helping Hands for Freedom? Because somebody helped me. I became heavyweight champion of the world because people took a chance on me. They helped me when I didn't have the means. You know, they gave me transportation when I didn't have the transportation. Uh, they were patient with me when I didn't get what they were trying to show me. So, you know, it's like because I have become successful as a world champion, it's, it's, it's important that I give back as it was given to me. Absolutely, no mm -hmm. better way than to help the veterans of Indianapolis. Oh, absolutely, because you know, they put their life on the lines for us, you know, and if you have any conscience and you have a chance to help, you have to. So this is your world boxing title. Mm -hmm. This is the title. This is the official WBO colors, the title. This was presented to me commemorating the 10 year anniversary of April 4th, 2004, when I knocked Vladimir Klitschko out, who was the current world heavyweight champion. Right. I'm the last American, I'm the last fighter, period, to beat him. From world boxing heavyweight championship to entrepreneur, to helping local kids stay on the right path and inspiring them, mm -hmm. and now giving back to Helping Hands for Freedom. Mm -hmm. Layman Brewster, what a man. Thank, Thank you. you so much for talking with us. Thank you for having me. Brewster returned to Indianapolis because he is positive that he can build a successful business in his own hometown. Brewster hopes to become a role model for aspiring athletes by spurring interest in local boxing.